you might get bopped the first few times, but then you'll keep going and going and going, and you'll just climb up the ranks. And right. then people won't... Like, you guys want to be considered one of the strongest regions in SoCal? Dude, <laughs> you guys have the potential, but you guys are letting it go to waste. That's yeah. all I got to say. Uh, episode 2 of Pastor Nursemaid preaching again. <laughs> uh, right, and going back to Nico versus Fonzie on Smashville. Nico off to a great start, as expected. Uh, just because sword characters don't have to aim, and Nico's amazing, so... I mean, you combine the two, and what else did you expect, yeah. really? Yeah, Swords versus Yoshi, also not fun. Right. But, uh, I mean, more more so, this is just like Yoshi versus Nico. That's got to be rough. Yeah. And, uh, ooh, Fonzie got yeah. that. Traded the up smash with Nico's back air. Either back air and air. Yeah. One and aerial. And aerial. And actually, Nico's actually doing really, really well. He's got this at, like, even percents. I mean... Forcing Nico to already use his shield Monado, but F tilt going to take that first stock. And he wasn't even in uh, he wasn't even in Smash mode on that one. That one was shield mode, and the F tilt still killed. Imagine if he was in Smash mode. That would send this man out of the ballpark, man. That's the batter batter swing right there. That F tilt, man. Ooh, okay, Nico trying to run a train on Fonzie, but he, Fonzie keeping himself in the game. Yeah, he's got to watch out for those downers at the ledge. Not go too aggressive off stage, especially. When he's a stock behind. Yeah. Especially when a sword with a sword character with like, you know, Cloud and, and uh, Shulk with those big down airs and you just don't want to give him stage control. Because those down airs will clip you, man. Like you you get two frame, you'll get hit under the stage, you'll feel janked. Don't let him do it to you. Don't put yourself in that position. Honestly, I feel like a uh, a egg bomb with the down B will kill. Uh, no, actually no, nah, I would see he, he proved me wrong. I'm glad I said it at the exact moment he went for it because Shield Monado did, in fact, save him Ooh, from it. Yeah, and then and he switched to he, he had already switched to Jump Monado immediately after. I guess he worked that out really well. And uh, I'm just surprised that Nico's still in this one. Oh, my God. That yeah. was the most clutch Shield Monado I've yeah. ever seen in my life. That literally <laughs> just came in to save him from the, the, from the Yoshi bomb. N Nico's Monado management is, like, second to none, really. That's what makes or breaks Shulk players. You got to have good Monado management. I mean, look Truly. at this, man. You, what other Shulk player makes it to 180, the depths of 200? Like, who, 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 what other Shulk? All right. Jab up smash going to pull Fonzie back into this game. 79% behind. It's uh, it's a little bit, but, you know, Yoshi can put out the damage that he needs. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Up till <laughs> into double up airs. All right. Double oh, jab. I felt like he was ready for that, but he just... He needed... He, he was trying to get some sort of roll read there. Okay, Smash Monado. This might be if... It, oh, okay. Yeah, it could have been it if yeah. he had landed a hit with Smash Monado. Yeah, but it also could have been gone the other way around. I mean... Oh, you become yeah. lighter, right, with yeah. the, the Smash Monado. You take more knockback as well. I brush up on my shark, man. Look at me. You sound like an edu uneducated fool on this stage. Oh, my God. Preemptive up smash. Nico getting lucky that Fonzie didn't really punish that too hard. Because that was a really greedy up smash right there. Yeah, see, these e egg bombs, I really like um, Fonzie, his usage of them, because a lot of Yoshi players, I feel like, don't do it enough, and I honestly think it's one of Yoshi's most broken moves. And a falling back air. That'll do it for game one. Going to Nico. That was really well played from both players. It was close. I love close games. It was a last stock. I mean, not quite last hit, but last, oh. last stock scenario. And mm -hmm. to take to take Nico. Probably the the best Yoshi in the I mean the best Shulk in the world. Yeah, Nico the best Yoshi. In, yeah, Nico the best. I mean he might be. You don't know. He's, <laughs> he's like the best DDD. You don't even know, dude. That's true. Um, but yeah, it, take the best Shulk in the world to like last stock. You know, not, with Yoshi, mm -hmm. which is right. what I was trying to say, uh, is no small feat for sure. Especially because you know what makes Nico the best Shulk in my opinion isn't so much that uh, he's like the best term like in terms of technical shulk play because I mean he is really good at it he knows his tech but his amazing neutral I mean his neutral is so good that he has the term Nico stock coined after yeah, him. yeah. And, and Nico gets Nico stocks on not just people on like Fonzie's level but he gets on Nico stocks on level he gets Nico stocks on K9 he gets Nico stocks on like Everyone at FAD, you know, like, just, it doesn't matter who you are. He, he's going to get a Nico stock. Yeah, man. You, your neutral is slipping a little bit, and Nico will take his Nico stock, man. Okay, and Shield Bonato actually not allowing the jab up smash to be a confirm, so he was able to shield in, yeah. in between it. Uh, 
Yeah, I, and I just like, I think that's like the second or third time I've actually just seen Shilinado come in clutch because the jab up smash at this percent? Yeah. And, uh, and with, with that much rage? Yeah, and a forwarder from Nico is going to catch that jump onto the stage, take that first stock. But yeah, that's a great point, too. The, sh the Shield Monado has been uh, coming in super clutch for Nico. I mean, great stuff for him to know when his um, Monados are about to end and when, when he can switch immediately into them mm -hmm. and uh, cancel the lag. So the fact that he's able to do that is tremendous. But I think if Nico didn't have. Uh, Shield Monado, it might be a di totally different game. Oh, like, absolutely. Like, uh, Fonzie would be able to get these stocks much earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, okay, well, that was actually a really good downfall saving him there. But Fonzie, I mean, he's falling behind right now, and I think he's gone for Jab Up Smash so many times. I think he's going to have to go for, like, a different cover from Jab to Yoshi Bomb, Jab to uh, Jab to Grab Release something. I don't know. Like, it, the Yoshi's got cool mix-ups with that. Yeah. I haven't seen Fonzie do more than just that one mix-up, you know, just that jab up smash mix-up. It's not going to net in the stock every time. Nico, he's played against good Yoshi players, so I mean, he's ready for it, you know? Yeah, I mean, notably, I mean, in, in the, the 818 region where Nico resides, yeah, we have uh, KY. Yeah. And that up tilt out of shield, going to punish up smash and net Nico a two stock for the set. Yeah. Right? No, they're still sitting. I don't know what the heck they're doing. No, yeah, no, no, Nico's wrapping up a control. Yeah. yeah.